Hey y'all, welcome back to All The Power Ministries. This is a ministry where you can come to grow in greater intimacy with the Lord, to be taught how to step into your authority and your power and purpose. And so if that is what you were looking to do, then you are at the right place and we are so excited to have you here. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Nina Lauren and I have a very quick word for you today. Okay, so you guys, this word is a base on the number 21. So if you have been seeing the number 21 or 12 or 12 12 or 12 21 or 121 or anything with those numbers back and forth um, then this message is for you and so I have been seeing 12s and 21s and 12 21 and all the things 121 all of them and uh, really what I want to focus on is the number 21. I may make a separate video on the number 12, but just know that even if you're seeing 12s, um, that this is interchangeable. And so um, the f I do have a scripture reference for today, and then I'm going to give you the Strong's meaning of the number 21 and the reason why the Lord dropped it in my spirit of why I'm seeing 21. Definitely if you're seeing this number, or even if you're not seeing this number, don't disregard the message. It still could be for you. Um, but always take it to the Holy Spirit. Anytime you hear any type of message like this, any type of word or prophetic word, always take it to the Holy Spirit for confirmation and detest every spirit behind the word that's being given. And also ask the Holy Spirit how you are to apply and partner with the word. And so our scripture reference from today comes out of Joel chapter 2 and if you are have been around the channel then you know that this is a uh, a chapter that the Lord brings me to often <laughs> and especially um uh I'm sorry a book that the Lord brings me to often especially chapter 2 and so um literally I, I can't get past this book it, the Lord constantly brings it back up and if you were a part of my live stream this morning then you know we did a little Bible study on this entire chapter and broke it down and just got some really good nuggets from the Lord and then I just released a video uh, right before this coming from the same chapter. So definitely go back and watch those two videos to get a better understanding. Um, but I want to focus on Joel chapter 2 verse 21, okay? And it says, Surely he has done great things. Do not be afraid, land of Judah. Be glad and rejoice. Surely the Lord has done great things. Um, I want to read actually verse 22. Sorry, guys. There's a hair that I'm like fumbling with. It's stuck to my, <laughs> it's stuck to my wrist. Um, it says, do not be afraid, you wild animals, for the pastures and the wilderness are becoming green. And so this word is about rejoicing. Now, that was Joel chapter 2, verse 21, where the Lord is saying, be glad and rejoice. Do not be afraid, for the pastures and the wilderness are, come, are becoming green. For surely the Lord has done great things. Uh, later down in that chapter, it talks about never being put to shame. And um, it says, never again will my people be shamed for I am the Lord, your God. And so right now in this season, God is saying it is time for you to rejoice. Now, remember that your praise proceeds your victory. Okay, so if you look up the number 21 in the Strong's Concordance, it means to exult. It means to rejoice greatly. Not just rejoice, but to rejoice greatly. There is this idea of it's not just be excited. It's not just say hooray, but it is to exult. You guys, I can't deal with all the hairs. <laughs> I'm outside and it's just crazy. Um, it is this picture of exulting. It is this picture of rejoicing greatly. It is this picture of I'm not just excited. I am exuberant. Okay, so there is a level of radicalness. There is a level of there is basically a next level type of rejoicing. And for some of you, the Lord is saying that it is time for you to take your mouth to blow your trumpet. Right. Uh, Joel 2 chapter um, chapter or I'm sorry, verse 15 blow the trumpet in zion right it is time for some of you to blow your trumpet it's time for some of you to rejoice what did joshua say at the walls of jericho shout for the lord has given you the city for some of you it is time to release your sound it is time to begin to praise as if everything that you have been praying for you are walking in right now your praise precedes your victory 
So I don't know who this word is for, but definitely take it back to the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit um, if this is your word. And if this is your word, then I want you to get in a place where you can begin to shout and praise and just declare the goodness of the Lord and begin to uh, just praise for your victory because you already have the victory. Jesus has already won it for you. And so I want to, I want to let you know that for some of you, what you are believing for has already been done in the spirit. And so I believe that as we begin to exalt the Lord and rejoice greatly as if it's already done, right? This shifts our perspective. This shifts our earthly mindset so that we can begin to see it manifest in the natural. Once again, I believe it's already done in the spirit, but the praise is going to shift our mindset, our outlook. For many of you, you've been discouraged. For many of you, you've been down and God is saying, I want to shift you out of that discouragement. I want to shift you out of that pit and I want you to rejoice and begin to lift up the name of all names, the king of all kings and come into agreement with the sound of heaven. And as you come, oh, this is the word, as you come into agreement with the sound of heaven, you are going to see heaven come to earth and what has been done in heaven, let it be done on earth. Hallelujah, glory to God. What has been done in the spirit will begin to become manifest in your present reality. And so shout for the Lord has given you this city. Shout for the Lord has given you the breakthrough. Shout for the Lord has given you the healing. Shout for the Lord has given you the provision. And not just a yay, thank you Lord, thank you Jesus. No, it's time for some of y'all to get a little crazy, to get a little rowdy. We were at a 24 hour prayer burn this weekend and my buddy Julio released a word about it's time, it's time to get a little crazy. It's time to get a little out of character, right? David danced naked before the Lord. Why? Because he was experiencing the, the goodness of God. And for some of you, the enemy has you looking at everything that's wrong and you can't find a reason to rejoice. But God is saying to you today, open your mouth and rejoice for the Lord is victorious and he has made you victorious. You are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. And so if this word is for you, I want you to get in the comments and let me know, sis, this is my word. This is my word. I will rejoice today. I will rejoice greatly. I will exalt the Lord. I will exalt the Lord. He is high above anything that you may be facing. He is greater. He is stronger. He is better. He is everything. He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and he is worthy of your praise. And so let's come together and praise him today, people of God. God bless you. I pray that this word was a blessing and a confirmation to someone. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also leave a comment in the comment section if this was your word. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I post daily videos. My husband's going to be joining alongside me. I'm so excited. The Lord has been opening up doors for us to step into full-time ministry. And so that is what we are believing for. That is what I am shouting and exulting for today because God is faithful. And no word that comes from his mouth will return void. And so we thank you father for your word we thank you for your goodness and i just pray over you people of god that you would be blessed please feel free if you would like to become a partner of our ministry whether it's just in prayer or in serving or in financial giving just know that we appreciate it all all the links to give are in the description any women who are interested in growing in intimacy with the lord and stepping into their power and purpose i want to encourage you to come and join me in my powerhouse babes monthly mentorship community we are on a journey of inner healing and um and deliverance and deeper intimacy with Abba, learning to hear his voice, getting the foundation correct so that we can be launched into our purpose and our kingdom assignment. So if that sounds like something that the Lord has been pressing on your heart, I encourage you to come and join us. The link is in the description. I love you all so, so much with the love of the Lord. If anyone needs prayer, uh, anything, you can uh, contact us. All of our links are in the description, including our email. And I love you all so, so much. I will see you on the next one. Bye.